check it out. We got people that are here to profit. Let me explain what's going on. Okay, this is the card. Okay, this is the theme song for the card. Okay, we got the card, and then this is this is actually this is actually the beef set. Leap. Hold on, we got the card. Okay, we got people out of the top ten. Okay, we got a third place person and a fifth place person in the top ten, and they're representing teams. They're representing teams. Let's go back to that card though. Let's bring that back. Who are we talking about? What's going on? Okay, let me let me uh, let me let me focus your attention over here, okay? Because, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Trash Talk Temple proudly brings to you the motherfucking Beef Set League. This contest is scheduled for our first to five with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing our competitors first, representing uh, the top tier temple. It is our. M. Jago on your right hand side playing Liu Kang and his opponent on your left hand side probably also playing Liu Kang representing the T-Bagger Alliance. It's anomic. He, uh, yeah, he said he was just going to mirror match people. He was going to mirror match people and be fucking toxic as fuck. So we're just going to have a good old... We're going to have a good old-fashioned spanking bank, ladies and gentlemen, to start the day, to start our weekend. This is what, day six of season nine of the Beef Set League. That's how old we are. We're almost in the double digits, motherfucker, and here comes our double digits celebratory party pants, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and jooms. Here we go. Here we go. We got jump punt. No, low fireball. Low fireball again. Low fireball. We got zoning at the start. Shorty hop. Uh-oh, back dash. High fireballs to check him. Somebody's running out of real estate. Looks like RMJ goes about to find his back to the wall if he doesn't make a couple of good reads to get out of here. Last thing you want is to get cornered with Liu Kang, especially as a Liu Kang. Here we go. Low fireball. There's the punish and a breakaway with a flying kick. No command grab, but a down poke. No tick on the command grab. And a up three, back three. Full, full wall carry one read, and things just turned all the way sideways for Mr. Anomic. RMJ goes saying like, yo, dude, I'm the Liu Kang main. Look at that fucking bunga Lloyd ass. Hold up. Where the fuck is Harambe? This motherfucker really just flying kicked at the end of the fucking round. I can't believe this. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Into breakaway. Breakaway. Backdash. No. Ooh, that whiff. Punish. Backdash. Three, four. Sitting on an R. Kelly. Working his way. No. R. Kelly denied. We got a breakaway, though. Side swap with the back grab. RMJ go now in charge of the positioning. And he got the touch. There's a burn. There's a double burn. He should have that loaded now. So the next touch is going to hurt. And then the next touch will kill. We're oh, ho. We got the parry. We got parry domination. Don't press buttons. Throw escapes and back grab. Side swap Haitian. What are we doing? Up three. No holding that. Gets launched. No follow up though. There's the follow up. And we got robbery. Robbery on deck, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh, the music is not running. <laughs> no sound. Just my voice. Uh, damn. I fucked that up. <laughs> I had turned off the sound. Anyways, whatever. We got buttons. Down punk. Down three. Here we go. Down three again. Four, four. There's the launch. Standing <laughs> three into the band grab. There's the one, two, three. No, back one. Short hop. Two. Knock down. All right. Back one, two, four. Uh-oh. Down three. No. Threads the needle. Neutral thought below the attacks. And here we go. We got buttons. Into a carry, he still has that loaded. Still loaded, there's down one, down one, four, four. Into another bicycle pick. I think we have that crush loaded both ways. So next touch is just gonna be an easy hit confirm. Into death, uh-oh, nope, we got fireball. We got fireball again, we got fireball again. We got dumb ass, we got no punish. We got punish, we got robbery. Oh shit. Somebody wanted to keep their bars and keep their uh, hit confirmable special move cancel. I don't know. Looks like you can kill with the next touch as long as he's got the bar. Oh, looking for that chip. Another chip. Oh, we're in chip death territory. And Jago got there first. There's that flying kick. All right, all right, hold on. Let's just, uh, let's just back it up here. Jago, he gets a one point. We ran, okay? We ran, we ran the match without the sound. 
and it was amazing. It was amazing for me, not so much for you. So when I repost this, I'll probably like add music in the background or something. But maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just make it be all weird and awkward and y'all can laugh. This is the most uh, hilarious. Anyways, anyways, not importante. It, uh, ma, wait, it, not, nimportante pa. No, hold on. Nim, n- yeah, man, I don't remember how to speak French. Fuck. Wouldn't it be nimport pa? Nimportant pa. Kiki Long. There it is. Anyways, whatever. Liu Kang with a panky ring. We got buttons. We got dudes picking characters. Jago, one point on Anomic. The Temple looking to come in strong today, man. Looking to come in strong and come in hard. Starting the week off. This is what, week two? Day five? Day six. Today is day six, ladies and gentlemen. Day six of season nine. Things are going to get ecstatic. They're going to get Columbus quite ecstatic. Both of these guys are in the top ten. Okay, Anomic, higher ranked than Jago. We looked at that shit earlier, right? We, we already looked at that slide. We already looked at that slide. So this matchup has a lot of bearing, not just on their team rankings, but in moving up, moving up the top ten. Somebody's going to be crowned the season nine champion. The great reboot. The great reset starts now with these two guys. Somebody will want to be champion, right? Round one. Oh, no lore. No lore. Just right into jumping. Just right into air cano ball amplifier. Here we go. Overhead. Got the knockdown. Okay, forward one, two. Down four. Down four. Tick grab. One of the cheapest things Kano has. But we had a nice roll through and a punish. Side swap. Nope, there's the side swap. We are stuck in the corner. Liu Kang does not have a lot of ways to escape the corner. And that's one of the problems Liu Kang has. He has to make a hard read. And he has to get out. And stay out. Uh oh, uh oh. Here we go. He only has a back grab with which to side swap. And that does not mean anything to Kano. There's the back grab there. There it is. We got back dash. No, goes in with a parry. Parry gets punished. No, parry does not get punished completely. But it looked like he attempted a flawless block on the 1 1 2. So that gets punished or at least interrupted. Maybe he read a stagger. Fight. It's going to cost him a round. And Anomic is now in charge. Here we go. Low fireball. Low fireball. Amplify. Jump in. Jump one. 1 1 2. Still getting hit with that. No flawless block on that. On that 1 1 2 string out of Kano. Here we go. Dashing in. No. Jumps away. Trying to punish, right? He tried to whip punish with an air Kano ball. A very popular tactic out of Kano's because they know that you want to press. And, oh, okay, he's going for this tick throw. Two four gets the tick throw off the two four. Knock down. Dash in. No, with punish. Big with punish from Arm Jago. This is going to be a full walk in. Twenty four percent on the board. No, down one grab. And now Kano has that. Oh, oh wait, hold on. Spoke too soon. We're out of the corner. Standing one one two. Back grab. And again, Kano with his back to the wall. No escaping. Uh oh, down poke, down forward. Oh, Kano ball! Nope, one, 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 two. Still following for that again. And there's a nice hit confirmed. That's going to be all she wrote. Anomic, pretty clutch with that one. That was a pretty clutch win. I can't get mad at that. Anomic's going to tie this one up. One to one. And we knew, we knew going into this match, it was going to be a close one. We knew that this shit was going to be sweaty as fuck. Someone is saying, what's the song? Oh, all the music today is pretty much going to be Killer Instinct. I think this is Shin Hisako. Shin Hisako's theme for Killer Instinct. Anomic has something to say. Hold on. No, Anomic, go ahead. Speak your truth. Hold on. Give him no respect. No, no, no. What were you saying, sir? Say it with your chest, little ninja. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where is it? Hold on. Move out. Move out. Here we go. Nobunaga, please. What you what you what you got? Uh anyways, going back to what we were talking about. What were we talking about? Not important. Here's what I'm talking about. The score's tied up. Gang. All right. We got a nomic. Let me get the let me get the music back up. Hold on. Yeah, I interrupted that shit. Okay, I interrupted that shit for no reason. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Citizen Kane. <laughs> Oh, I am. 
confusion. Kino's Here's the deal. Anomic is apparently turning into a Kano player right before our very eyes. Um, I don't know if he's caning or not, but he did get a win. He did get a one. So we'll see how that pans out going into this next one. Let's see how it does going into this next match. Oh, they're letting the law Lord play out. The Lord. I'll make you rich sleep. Round oh, one. Nope, nope, Fight. round one. No lore. No lore, ladies and gentlemen. We're tied up. We got a back three. We got a knockdown. Dash and Perry. Perry gets punished. Four, one, two. Into Vegemite Amplified Kano Ball. So Anomic, he knows the combo. He knows he can combo off of that. And a flawless block into the launch. Are we sitting on our Kelly? Throw, escape. Holy shit. This is like almost a perfect match except for the uh, yeah, R. Kelly denied there. No explodiation. Uh oh, Kano Ball, Kano Ball, Kano hit. Vegemite back one, four, one, two. Back two gets the knockdown. Command grab, lumbar check. I don't think it's gonna kill, but he's got another read. No, he's got the corner, he's locked in. Ah, Ooh, wait a minute. Y'all are killing me with this. Y'all are killing me with this. RMJ go on the verge of a big time comeback. One, two, back three, four. He's a touch of weight. Oh, tiny, tiny punch. Tiny punch, ladies and gentlemen, tiny punch. For the win, Arm Jago, though, he's got the positioning. He's in a good spot. Anomic, though, looking to start painting. Oh, the back two gets explodiated. <laughs> oh, fuck. Arm Jago getting his combo broken out of. And now he's eating the tick throw off a low poke. Oh, wake up buttons back. One, two, four. Into bicycle kick. Into a shorty hop. He's playing wake up games. No, we had it down. One to blow up grab. One, two. One, two. Into low fireball. Couldn't get the conversion though. And there's a back one. No, stay. Looking for grabs. Uh oh, forward one, two. Down one, down one. Into fire. Into the flames. And that's all she wrote. Oh, why did he do that? Why did he do that obnoxious thing? You could have ticked throne. You could have ticked throne, or you could have just staggered it safe. He thinks blah. Oh my god, RM Drago now able to catch this one up and able to escape this corner. It is bad read on top of bad decision making. It looks like one, two, three, it's a flying kick, and then an application of the buff. There's a parry. No, Perry's getting punished. We have the timing to blow up that punish. We have the timing. Oh, oh. Tick grab, back one, throw escape, no throw escape. He went for a grab, forward grab, there's a back grab. There's the throw escape, one, two, three. No, no grab escape. You gotta hold this corner. We're gonna play strike throw in the amplified nice Wait, forward, four, three, got it. We're out of the corner. He's got enough down posts he can survive. If he looks for a whip punish right there, there's that whip punish. We're gonna break away here to save himself. Here we are, back one, two, four, low fireball, amplifier, motherfucker. Did somebody say that somebody was uh, under the implication that someone was caning or that someone was coning, cooning, cantooning, pico collateral? Anomic is mad. Anomic is unhappy with himself. Now go ahead. What were you saying, Anomic? Because I was under the impression. I was under the impression that you were going to blow up RM Jago, but now RM Jago seems to find himself in the lead. Anomic hasn't picked a character he's competent with, though. So, you know, there's still that option on the table. Mm, dramatic music as we go into the character selection. <laughs> uh oh, Anomic has something to say. Go ahead. What game? What? He's caning? Hold on, he's caning. Sorry, I switched to the wrong screen. I switched to the wrong screen. It's fine. Grim, it's fine. He's picking Nubin too. Kiki the caning is ended. Anomic is like, yo, man, let me just uh let me just stop losing. Let me stop losing. Let me pick a main. We're at one Snowman. and two. RM Jago putting hands on Anomic. Crumple stoning him in the most absurd ways possible. Anomic finally going for Scrub Zero, withholding Noob Cybot. But we know who the true heater, right? The true heater out of Anomic is gonna be uh, probably Kung Lao. Shall probably Kung Lao. In fact, I got a feeling. I got a feeling that when the chips go down, when the chips go down, we may see some great Kung Lao stance. But right now, what we're gonna see instead is this dumb shit, right? This is just, this is, this is stupid. Scrub Zero. He's gonna try to mix them out and scrub them out to death. To see if RM Jago falls for this. I don't see him falling for it though. There's some zoning. All right, we got air shots, trading. 
Canzone scrub zero for too long. He's in a little bit unbreakable. Spends the bar for 20%. That's a little expensive. Oh, big ass punish. And then he... What? Whoa, 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 what was that? Okay, low fireball. There's a punish on that. Back one for Ice Ball. Jump kick. Drops the follow up. And we're going to have to break away there. Doesn't want to eat that bicycle kick. Doesn't want that wall carry. Because what that's going to do is that's going to give Liu Kang a lot of room to just run. And that's always a problem for Sub-Zeros. Yeah, you've got Amplified Ice Ball. You've got Low Slide and Air Axe. He's got anti-zoning tactics. But really, all they do is just slow down their, their, uh, their ability to run away. It doesn't really make it easier for you to get in. Uh-oh, there's a back two. Got the launch. Nothing off it. Into Creeping Ice. Amplify robs it with a mix in the corner. So we're going into round two. Gimmicks on deck. Here we go. Back one four into Creeping Ice. Keeping it safe with an amplification. Overextending, though, from Jago. And the zones are beginning. Jago's trying to play a more nice. Zoning, long range, safer gameplay. That was a good spin. Ooh, tried to spin the bar there. Doesn't get it though. Drops, that's a weird exchange. There's a launch, bam. Baiting him to spin the bar. Oh, there's a big whip punish on that roll. Roll back, and that's the thing is a lot of people, a lot of people have been not really taking uh, back roll into consideration. Back roll is a very, very powerful tool. I think of it as like a free back dash off of the ground. It's a very strong win punish tool. And as you saw there, RM Jago used it to secure the win. So there's a crushing blow grab out of RM Jago. Here come the zones. This is starting to get elementary. Uh oh, jumping. Standing two to blow up the starting off and a parry and a launch. He stole the bar. He's sitting on that. Oh no, he lost it. He lost it. Standing four. Keeping it unbreakable and unescapable, 36%. And keeping the corner. Here we go, back one on the roll punish. Oh, ow, oh, ow, standing three. Oh, no, one, two, three, back grab. Throw, reversal of fortunes. Corner now established. Uh -oh. oh, that's gonna be a big punish. That's it, that's all she wrote. <laughs> RM Jago, shutting it down. Shutting it down. Good God, Arm Jago now up one on Anomic. Anomic only able to win one round, and that was on gimmicks last round, or this uh, match. So, and yeah. if you don't hurry your ass up, I'm trying to go to work. <laughs> I'm not trying to see this shit, do that shit at the end. Fatality. God damn. Liu Kang wins. We trying to go to work. I know where he works. He participates in uh, Noah's Candy. So, you know, that's all good. That's all good. Huh? Right? Is that what, you know, is that? Yeah. Hey, fatality and a teabag. Nine respect. A lot of disrespect going on in this match, but I'm always going to adhere to the rules within which we set forth, within which we uh, believe in. Here, let me get some fucking hype music. All right, let me get something exciting going. Uh, all right, all right, look, Jago getting applause from the chat. Y'all know, y'all know, RM Jago, a member of the top tier temple. Where my, where my emotes? An emote. Oh, Stabby stabbers. Top dude. tier temples in the chat. RM Jago looking fresh. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Okay. This is what we wanted. This is what we were waiting for, guys. We were waiting for this. And now, and now we have it. Round one. Let's Fight. go, baby. Let's go. Kung Lao on deck, baby. Oh, oh, down three, down three, down one. We're gonna thread the needle. One, two, three, and the bicycle kick breaking away. Nice parry, a launch. Two and two to chase. No, back one, shorty hop, knocked down. Jago is running the house. Standing one anti-air, no bar to escape. So we're gonna get almost 30% for an attempted jump. And what do we got? Forward four. Nope. Here, here comes the party. Big launch. Standing two. Forward four. Into the launch. Into Z hat. Got the launch again on wake up. And this is how it falls apart. Dash and forward. No. Four two with the launch again. And oh, oh the sadness. The sadness and depression. Oh, wins it on the chip but loses the corner. Are you serious? He made the call out. It armor broke. In armor, bro, Kung Lao needs buffs. Hashtag Kung Lao is broken, confirmed. Tried to punish with a bicycle kick. That didn't work. 
Tried to do a reversal punish. Kung Lao isn't that negative off of those uh, Kung Lao cancels. I think he's like minus, uh, minus 15-ish or something. They're like punishable, but you gotta be really careful when you go for those reversal uh, punishments. Flying kick might have done it though. Ooh, we got a bump applied. He's sitting in the corner though. Being in the corner is not a place you want to be against Kung Lao. There's a Z hat. Back grab, loses the corner, but we're in chip death territory. Z had on wake up four, one, two, no chip, down one, and the T badness. Oh, we're getting the grand, uh, 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 a visit from Grandma T badness. Don't you gotta hurry up, bro. The hell? Ooh. Ooh, we had some, we had some choice words there from Anomic. Choice words. I'm going to give him two respect because he was telling Jago to hurry it up, and then he blew him up, and it was pretty quick. So, like, that's kind of exciting, right? And then we had a, a, a final ending visit from, from Aunt T. Bagness. Maybe we should make a fucking a fourth team, right? Team T. Bagness, and it'll be fucking grandma's. Grandma-ass-looking motherfuckers. Number two, That's what you all is. Grandma-looking-ass motherfuckers. RM Jago watching his lead slowly slip away. Slowly slip between his fingers. Anomic has gone mains out. He has not gone mains out this whole set. And now he has gone mains out. And RM Jago has been mains the whole time. So Anomic has had time to kind of download what RM Jago wants to do with Luke Kang. That's the scary part. That's got to be the scary part going in right now for RM Jago. Does he have another pick? I don't know. I don't think he has another pick. I think this is it for him. I think he's just a Liu Kang main, and that's all he's got, and that's all he needs. He's still in the lead, Round right? One. He's still winning for the most part. And I'll make now dashing in. Nice clean way back. Uh oh. We got a little high fireballs. One, two. No ball talk. No, back one. He's going to convert into a bicycle kick, 21%, and pretty much full corner control. No, no corner control. We got a back three, back three. Option select in the back three. Maybe a low fireball. So, oh, 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 dropped in the combo. Didn't uh, break away there. That's usually the point where a lot of people will break away. I think that's why Anomic chose to drop that combo there. Standard three, four. In the bicycle kick on the whip punish. No neutral jump and the hit confirm. I think he was trying the 2-1-2. Two, two. There's a breakaway. This is it. What? Oh, five fireball in the back 2-2. Two, two. Holy shit. RM Jago with a nice iron will to not lose his positioning and not lose his advantage to take that one with a trip guard. 1-2 in the bicycle kick. One bar. Uh-oh. Cancel. Back grab. Siding swapping. Back dash. Whoa! That whip punish! Whoa! Anomic with the godlike up three whip punish. And tries it again, then goes for a Z hat setup. Z hat setup again. Doesn't amplify. And so, Jago gonna take his turn. Down poke into a back grab. We got the buff applied. There's that question blow and no bar to escape. So, this is full buff. It does remove the buff. Oh my god, 57%. Like, why even try after that? Holy. No, not like this. No, not like this. No, not like this. <laughs> Jago, this must not go unpunished. This must not, oh, there's the tea bag from Anomic, or to Anomic. There's a Z-Hat with a launch. Anomic now working on an R. Kelly Z-Hat. Four and one, down three, down one. Side swatching. <laughs> no. Corner is station. High fireball, spent the bar, spent the bar again. Only for a trade. This is starting to be expensive trades as the low fireball trade. And again, we're seeing a zoning Kung Lao. Z-Hat, high hat. Flawless block, low under the high hat, low under the high hat, no blocked at that time. He gets hit that time. Looks like maybe we're having. Oh my god, no, no. RM Jago! Oh, it. So fresh. So fresh. So gangster. Ooh, Anomic now tying it up. He had to go mains out to do it. I don't know what's going on with RM Jago right now, right? I have no idea what's going on. It looked like there were a couple of times where his controller died or it lagged up or he just put his controller down. It was 
interesting to say the least. Interesting to say the least. RMJ goes standing around looking like an idiot and Anomic taking advantage, right, against a character like Kung Lao who Shaolin. makes health bars explode. That's not something you want to do is just kind of not block or attack, right? Right? We'll see. He might be stalling out here. He might be stalling here at character select. All right. We see a little bit of uh, we see a little bit of anticipation, and frustration, impatience out of Anomic. Arm Jago. It looks like he's switching to Cabal, and he's contemplating. Oh, he is switching the Cabal. He's doing what needs to be done to win, which is pick a top tier. This is unfortunate. Now Jago has been playing Cabal for a while. I think at least in the uh, off-stream, off-season weekday matches. He's been playing a lot of Cabal and finding a lot of success with him. So, uh, ooh, yeah, ouch, ouch. This is gonna be rough. This is gonna be a big uphill battle, but Anomic does know the matchup. He does know the matchup. Here we go, going in to match seven. We have three and three. We got an air shuriken sweep. Attempt, no sweep. Uh-oh, shuriken in the neutral. 4-1-3, catches it, nice hit confirmed. Good reactions out of Anomics to get a full conversion and no breakaway. Arm Jago choosing to just hold that one. Breakaway, oh, I mean, sorry. Great Kung Lao stands cancel, no, up three, four, two, two. Back one, two, run, cancel, back one, into the option, select low, gets a little bit of damage, but he's still not out of the woods yet. He's still in the kind of bad corner positioning. Jump in, no, cross up, missed the jump in, there's a jump in again. Jump in attempt, missed though, so we're gonna get trip guarded. There's a standing one, two, three, hook slam, side swapping, gets some big damage. Ooh, wow, nice counter hit, but misses out on the big damage. Uh oh, uppercut, uppercut. Uh, uh, oh, oh, dashing in, one, two, kind of one, one, two. There's the one, punishment, one, two. Hit the first, delayed jump kick, but unfortunately the forward four got broken out on, so we're not getting all the damage we can get. Wow, whoa, forward one, two, forward one, two again. They give the knockdown and chase. Four, two, two, four, two, two in the low, no punish. We got a grand escape field. He's gonna load up the crush chip death scenario. Ah, oh, he jumped over the Z hat. The call out, that clutch. RMJ go not scared. He doesn't have your typical gas blast cabal. Jump in, nice trip or anti air, anti air. Now one, one, two, one with the cross up combo, the side swap combo. Launch, 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 relaunch. Uh oh, four, two, two. Four, one. Into launch again, delayed jump kick, four, 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 four again, 34%. Wake up buttons, wake up two, two, nope, one, oh, 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 down three, down three, tried to overextend, there's another jump kick, no conversion though, down one. Back grab, this is gonna crush, and he's got it. No, he doesn't use the crush, the crush was not wasted. Here we go, into match, or round three, round three, final round, dive kick off the triangle jump, Simon, nice when those happen, right? You're not going for a dive kick, you're trying to try jump, but you get it. Okay, up three, up three, and the turns have table. No, the throw escapes him. Air shuriken, no conversion off of that though. I'm trying to whip punish a fish for a sweep whip punish. Not getting it, but getting an air shuriken to blow up the hat. Jumping again, getting called out with these anti-air hats. It's one thing about Kung Lao's hat is it does work as a decent anti- What the fuck? Someone was expecting a yellow flash, didn't get it, but we got wake up buttons and the cross up, jump kick, dive kick, looking to steal bar, Z hat, converts into a 4-2-1 for the kill, Anomic now. This is the first time he's taken the lead in this set. This is the first lead we've seen out of Anomic in this entire set, but this is the second straight win in a row that he's done it as a mains out, Kung Laoistan. Kung Laoistan, that's going to bring Anomic to game point, match point, set point, death point, right? This is game point, set point, death point. This could be the end of the end of the end for our man's Jago. I don't know what other character picks he's got, right? He's got Liu Kang. He's been playing a lot of Cabal. I think he might have a decent Devora, but I don't know if character pick is going to save him at this point. Kung Lao. He's going to have to just come out sweaty My and hard. There it is. Liu Kang, no need to roll the dice. If we're going to die, we're going to die swinging. And that's what RM Jago has chosen to do in the last match of this set. Allegedly last match. The score is now four to three. RM Jago can make a pretty big hype comeback and bring this back around to a game nine. It could happen. I believe in it. 
I believe in you, RMJ. Go, even though no one else in the chat does. These guys, they think you're trash, dude. They really don't like you. But I, I think you're all right, my man. Round Let's go. One. Game Fight. five. Let's get the hype going. Standing two. No. Answers as he had with high fireball. High fireball again. Oh, no trip card on that dive kick. So he's now able to advance in. This is anomic. But he overextended a little bit there. Out of range. Jago gets a touch. Loses it on Oki. Up three, and then into a back grab. Look at Anomic trying to test the waters with outstanding two in the neutral. He's looking to catch a whip punish on Liu Kang having to get in. It's one of the things Kung Lao has on Liu Kang is better control of mid-range space without having to rely on an easily jumpable projector. Kung Lao standing two also acts as a decent anti-air as well as a whip punish. Uh-oh, one, two. Down one. Into two, one. Gets the jail. Gets the buttons. Gets the closeout. RMJ go now stuck in the corner with no way to escape. Liu Kang not good at cert. Wow! Okay, hold on. Never mind. I spoke so soon. High fireball on the amplify. Jago spending the bar, sitting on an R. Kelly. Did I speak too soon? No, I spoke too soon. Back in the corner, 4 to 1. Standing 2 1. There's a. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. No. We kept reading the grab. We didn't see the grab. I was going to call out the grab. But Anomic didn't do it in that whole exchange, and now Jago overextending with the fireball, but he didn't have bar to overextend there, and Anomic didn't see it. Anomic gonna convert here. No breakaway. Oh, he tried wake up buttons with the down one. Down one, Jail in the one, two, three. High fireball breakaway. Again, no. One, two, one. Stay looking for grabs. This is gonna rob. This is gonna rob this one. Arm Jago, he's gonna get around. He's still in this. We're not done yet. This is not over. And here's the deal. This is actually a good situation for RMJ Go because late rounds is where Liu Kang really shines. Because then you're sitting on the forward four crushing blow, the bicycle kick crushing blow, plus grab crushing blow, plus he's got the buff applied now. This is a good time. Oh, ha, the parry was exploded though. Okay, four, two, one. Spends one bar, two bars on the oak. He gets a hit on the conversion, but loses the corner. And now, Anomic, 4 2 one, 4 Big damage, big conversion. I don't know why he went for the standing two conversion off of that. There was no bar for RMJ. Oh! Oh, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. RMJ, he can still do it. No, that's gonna be all she wrote. Breakaway, breakaway, he's got the jump and flawless block of two on the breakaway. Holy shit! My man Anomic with the clutch, the sweat. Yeah, that's great. I'm just trying to game. Bullshit. <laughs> shut up, shut up, Maybe shut up. fucking bring out loud. Made him bring out loud? I'm gonna go get my fucking fists. Cool loud. What did he say about Britney Spears? <laughs> he said Britney Spears and Fiji. I understood that. I understood that. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, the shutdown, the knockdown, the drag out. RMJ go taken to the limits. We're going to give him nine respect for the teabag fatality. But Anomic closing this one out with a final score of five to three Ooh. over RMJ go. If we look back, all right, hold on. If we look back at the top 10 and we kind of uh, summarize what's going on, Anomic. In third place, Jago in fifth place. Jago may be able to hold on to this positioning, but we know for sure Rat or Anomic, if he can score more wins this weekend, will be in the running for the belt. So make sure you're following us here on YouTube every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is Team Trash. This is the Beef Set League. We run this every uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Till, uh, I don't know, whenever we finish, whenever we get done, whenever we're tired of you and you're tired of us. So before you join, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tweet this shit out to your mom so she can join the party with us, all right?